What's up, y'all? Today, we're going to talk about why I agree with Waka Flocka Flame. Let's get it. My name is Jermaine and thank y'all for watching That Christian Fam. If growing in the faith is important to you, hit that subscribe button because over here we like to encourage, empower, and give you everyday practical Christian advice on real life situations. We drop videos whenever we drop videos, so hit that notification bell because for the first hour, we respond to comments immediately. All right, y'all, let's jump right into it. We had Waka Flocka Flame drop something heavy, y'all. I know, listen, I'm a little late to the party. It, it dropped almost a month ago, like around the 1st of March or whatever. But anyways, he shared an interesting video on his Instagram. Let's take a look. You know what? When I do good deeds, I don't ever record to take pictures because why would I catch a person at their lowest point in life? And plus, I don't need a, a, a visual of what I did right. I got the experience and that is the feeling. And that's something you can't take from me you know what i'm saying take from them that's a real human trait so to see anybody marketing they so feeding them feeding the homeless or feeding somebody that need help to me corny as now let's break down what he said he basically saying yo listen i'm gonna do these good things right and i don't need nobody else to know that i did these good things because i know i did these good things and to top it off I don't want to show somebody in a humbling situation, like in an in a humiliating situation. What I why would I want to show somebody else that? Right? Think about it. If that was you, if you think about some of the low points that you had in your life, would you want somebody to record you getting a handout or you getting helped out or you at your lowest moments? Of course you wouldn't. Like, don't even front. You know good and well. I don't care how saved, sanctified, and filled with the Holy Ghost you are. You don't want that on film, right? So why would we do that to other people? This is why I agree with Waka Flocka Flame. Now, while I don't agree with some of his word choices, I do agree with his statement and the sentiment of what he was saying. I know some of y'all are like, what? You agree with the evil secular? Yep, I sure do. And let me say something real quick. All these celebrities that y'all so quick to just write off, y'all realize that some of these folks grew up in church, right? They grew up in church or they grew up around church. And I just believe that somewhere along the way, this man heard that, yo, you know what? Doing good deeds and broadcasting it, that ain't the move. Let me throw in a little sidebar. Do you pray for these people or do you just write them off? Or do you just do both? Listen, I know a lot of us are quick to just write folks off, but do we go with that same tenacity when it's time to pray for these people? Like, do you earnestly spend more time in your prayer life praying for these people as you do casting these people down? Just something to think about. I just thank God that God didn't cast us away while we were dead in our sins. Like, so just remember that, yes, a lot of these people, I know that they're secular, I know that they love, they don't love God and stuff like that. I get all that. Well, we really don't know who loves God and who doesn't necessarily, but all I can say is this. Let's not be so quick to cast judgment and throw stones at people as if they ain't got no soul. You know what I'm saying? So. Anyways, that's my little sidebar. Let's look at Matthew chapter 6, verses 1 through 4. It says, Be careful not to practice your righteousness in front of others to be seen by them. Keep that in mind. If you do, you will have no reward from your Father in heaven. So when you give to the needy, do not announce it with trumpets, as the hypocrites do in the synagogues and on the streets, to be honored by others. Truly, I tell you, they have received their reward in full. But when you give to the needy, do not let your left hand know what the right hand is doing, so that your giving may be in secret. Then your father who sees what is done in secret will reward you. Now let's do a contradiction check real quick. Let's flip over to the previous chapter in chapter 5 verse 16 I ain't no journalist but y'all know what's up it says let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven oh my gosh we got a contradiction oh my see this one first of all calm down 
This is why we need to make sure that we read the word of God in context. All right, in Matthew chapter five, he is talking to believers and saying, hey, listen, when you do good deeds to glorify God, let, let these people who see you, let them see your good works so that they can glorify our Father which is in heaven, to bring glory to the heavenly Father, taking all the attention off of self and pointing it back to the Father, all the glory to the Father to, ma to magnify him. In chapter six, he knows the intention of the Pharisees. He knows that their intentions are to do what they do so that they can build up their esteem in the eyes of men, in the minds of men, so that they can glorify themselves. So it's self-glorification. So they're not worried about glorifying our Heavenly Father. They're more worried about glorifying themselves here on earth so that men can think that they all that in a bag of chips, you know what I'm saying? So listen, this is what Jesus says, listen, Go ahead and get your little reward here on earth. Get all you can, you know why? Because you ain't got nothing waiting for you in heaven. You have received your reward in full. Remember, we have to make sure that we have scripture, interpret scripture, and take things in context and not outside of context. But I wanna pose a question to all of us. Are we doing things to be seen by men? Are we doing things with the right motives and the intent? Are we doing things for the money? Are we doing things to be glorified? Are we doing things with a pure heart? Like, did we fall into doing what we do just for the money with no glory to God involved? Do we lie and say we doing this for ministry when we really doing it for self? Oh, that's a big one right there. I know a lot of people out there that love to hide stuff in ministry when they really bring in glory to themselves. And it don't just stop on the individual level, it's on the church-wide level as well. I've seen a lot of big churches broadcast what they're doing and say, hey, look, we're doing this and we're doing that. And just, they seem very grandiose and very cocky in their giving and in whatever they're doing, any type of charitable event, they seem very cocky about it. Now, listen, I understand that's all about context as well because there's sometimes, especially even with my local church here, sometimes we have to broadcast what we're doing so that people who are in need will know that, hey, there's help at this location. You know what I'm saying? I guess what I'm trying to say is we need to remember that it comes down to the heart. God is always checking our heart. He's always checking our motives. And we need to make sure that when we do anything, that we do it to glorify the Father in heaven and not ourselves. Somebody on the other side of this lens right now, you want to be on the camera instead of behind the camera. And God is saying, you know what? You probably need to be behind the camera, but because you want to be seen, you in front of the camera and you a hot mess. Some of us don't need to be on the stage. We need to be behind the scenes because that's where our true gift is. Some people have pursued certain things in life all for the money. When God is saying, you know what? Your true calling is over here. And guess what? This is going to bring me glory. And by the way, you might get some money doing that as well, but we need to make sure that whatever we do, we need to do it unto the Lord. We need to do it in the spirit of excellence and check our motives. Y'all, thank y'all for watching. I hope I helped somebody on the other side of this video and for all the trolls or anybody else. If you offended, I really don't care. All I know is hustle, hustle. all I know is hustle. hustle You ain't on your business, I don't know if I can trust you Oh, I'm taking care of mine, put my children in the eye Tell them you won't miss a meal, long as daddy's still alive